Nine Nine. You need to spend more time here with your family. Dad always wanted me to travel the world. Someday. Huh? <gasps> There's a Yeti on my roof. There are people looking for you. Go faster! Whoa! This is impossible! What is it that kept the story sort of grounded and relatable for you guys as these characters are going on this larger than life adventure? I think that just all the characters are super relatable. Um, mm -hmm. Yi is the sort of tomboy, Jin is like the uh, socialite type. Pang is just this fun loving, energetic kid. Honestly, what kept this film so grounded is just that at its core of the story is a grounded, very real life, just authentic story about a young girl dealing with uh, grief. Is that your home? No way. Yi develops a really sweet relationship mm. with Everest. Um, is there a pet or an animal oh in God. your own life that, that you yeah. drew upon to sort of yeah. develop that sort of rapport? So we had three massive dogs. Um, I, may, I would makeshift saddles and actually like ride them around the house, which probably wasn't like idea. I was very young. I have a dog right now, he's, he's still alive. Uh, his name's Speedy, he's a Maltese Yorkie mix, and we have a great connection. I think it's kind of similar to Yi and Everest yeah. connection, because they're able to talk to each other without using words. You don't realize how much the character of Everest pulls at your heartstrings when, until like at the end of the movie and you go, oh my God. It really just reminds you of that magical kind of unspoken relationship that a lot of people have with their animals, which I loved, yeah. My dad used to play for me every night. Like, he was telling me that no matter how hard the journey gets, never give up. It's beautiful! Is there an instrument or a piece of music that you find especially soothing like So that? I played the saxophone for a very long time. My family hated it because it was loud. I really like the piano. I used to play yeah, the piano. Um, definitely. So I would, I would probably say the piano. The piano, but um, also just listening to, I love listening to like pop music. Just like mm -hmm. feel good music. Oh yeah, just yeah, yeah songs in, in general, yeah. Mm -hmm. But I loved how much, you know, for Yi, uh, the violin is such an extension of her and an expression. You, you see at the beginning her very shy and only wanting to do it, uh, kind of play when she's alone. And that was, it's very emblematic of how she wants to communicate, how she wants to be. Um, and then you see throughout the film her become more comfortable with, with playing around people. And that's a really great parallel to how open she becomes as a, as a person. So I love I loved that. And to have it as like a creative outlet is, is really special. Hey boy. Poor girl. <laughs> Yeah, you're definitely a boy. Everyone loves Nine Eyes pork buns. Is there <laughs> is there a food item that your family makes that you know that you feel the same way about that you are obsessed with or that that makes you feel like home? My family loves to bake during the holidays, so I guess it's that like a lot of cookies and cakes and stuff. Um, so it's fun. Like dr during Christmas time, we all like to do that. Uh, yeah, my mom makes really good um, lentils and dolls, so I think that's that's probably the food that. Uh -huh. Yeah. When he sets her mind on something, nothing is impossible. Everest!